The Belgian air component, Dutch, Luchtcomponent, French, Composante Air, is the air arm of the Belgian Armed Forces, and until January 2002 it was officially known as the Belgian Air Force, Dutch, Belgische Luchtmacht, French, Force Aérienne Belgique. The Belgian military aviation was founded in 1909 and is one of the world's oldest air services. The commander is Major General Aviator Frederick Vansina, appointed on 23 July 2009. History Foundation and early years The Belgian military aviation was founded in 1909 as a branch of the Belgian Army, carrying the name Compagnie des Ouvriers et Aerostiers. King Albert's interest in the military use of aircraft was the main impetus for its formation. Coincidentally, in the civil aviation sector, Baron Pierre de Caters earned the first civil pilot's brevet that same year. Caters would promptly establish an aviation school. At approximately the same time, the War Ministry followed the French military's example and had pilots earn a civil pilot's brevet before their military one. In 1910, three Belgian lieutenants earned their pilot's brevets at the school, paying their own fees. Two of the artillery lieutenants were Bedouin Montens Dosterwick, who earned brevet No. 19 on 30 September, and Alfred Sartiel, granted No. 23 on 10 November. The third lieutenant, Georges Nellis, was the new force's first aviation candidate, gaining brevet No. 28 on 21 December. An aircraft was personally purchased for him. In spring of 1911, the new Air Force established its military aviation school with five pilots, two mechanics, and a woodworker. It received its first aircraft via Baron Caters, who gave the aircraft to King Albert, who in turn presented it to the school. On 12 September 1912, pilot Lieutenant Nellis and observer Sue's Lieutenant Stellingworth were the first Europeans to fire a machine gun from an aircraft. While Nellis brought the aircraft low, Stellingworth put some bullets through a sheet staked out on the ground. They were disciplined for their efforts. Nellis then accompanied Capitaine Commandant Emile Mathieu to England during November 1913 to demonstrate aerial use of the Lewis machine gun at Hendon and Aldershot. As a result, the British adopted the Lewis, although the Belgians did not. Belgium entered World War I with aircraft tasked solely for reconnaissance missions. Topic: <laughs> World War I. By the time of Belgium's entry into the First World War on 4 August 1914, the military aviation branch, now called the Aviation Militaire Belgique, consisted of four squadrons, each consisting of four 80-horsepower Henri Farman aircraft, although Escadrilles 3 and IV were still forming. A truck was assigned to each squadron, along with a fifth truck serving as a mobile workshop. Each squadron had a commander, five pilots, and six observers, with all officers seconded from parent units. As a result, most of the new aviators were from the engineers and artillery components of the Belgian Armed Forces. As the war began, a fifth squadron was created, staffed with civilian pilots called to the colours and equipped with Blériots. Sue's Lieutenant Henri Crombez flew one of the first war patrols, in a Depredusson racer on 4 August 1914 above Liege. Adjutant Behag was the first to engage an enemy, a few days later. On 26 September, the Belgian air crew of Sous Lieutenant de Petrovsky and Sergeant Benselin mortally wounded a German pilot with a rifle bullet and forced his Taube to land at St. Agatha Bircham. If they had submitted a claim for this victory, its approval would have marked history's first air to air combat victory. On 3 January 1915, two machine guns supplied by British were fitted to two Belgian aircraft, making a dual effort against the foe possible. These were Belgium's first dedicated fighter planes. In February, 13 of the Belgian airmen flew 28 offensive patrols. Their first dogfight was fought on the 26th, with 10 albatrosses against three Belgian farmans. 
On 26 March, Sue's Lieutenant Boschmans sent a German two-seater into a steep dive when he seemed to hit the pilot, the German was not seen to either crash or land. This was the Belgian aviator's first victory claim. In April, Lieutenant Fernand Jacquet mounted a machine gun on his pusher aircraft and sought out the enemy. On the 17th, he and his observer, Lieutenant Henri Vindevogel, scored Belgium's first confirmed aerial victory, sending an Albatross reconnaissance aircraft down in flames over Roselaire. Apparently at about the same time, Adjutant José Orta and Sue's Lieutenant Louis de Berlet were the first to attack an enemy observation balloon when they dropped three small bombs on a gas bag over Houthulst. Luckily for them, they missed, success would probably have blown them out of the sky. On 18 January 1916, the decision was made to form a dedicated fighter squadron. On the 22nd of February 1916, Escadrille I became the One Air Escadrille de Chasse. It consisted of newly supplied Newport 10s and one obsolete Farman two-seater. In August, the new squadron would upgrade to Newport 11s, and Escadrille V was turned into the 5 Eme Escadrille de Chasse. The new unit was the first to mount an offensive formation for the new Air Force. On 15 February 1917, they flew an offensive patrol of seven. By this time, the AMB had grown to 44 aircraft, including 21 fighters. At this point, individual aircraft bore personal markings affixed by their pilots, but no unit designations. In the summer of 1917, the AMB was allotted an active role in Allied aviation operations at the beginning of the Third Battle of Ypres. In March 1918, the AMB matured into a groupe de chasse. At this time, the role of the escadrilles de chasse was finally focused on their operation strictly as fighter units. There was a sorting out of pilots into fighter or reconnaissance roles. Not all fighter pilots went into the new fighter units, as of 1 May 22 remained with reconnaissance units to fly escort missions. The King insisted that Jacquet be given the command of the group. The newly organized fighter wing contained the two fighter escadrilles, however, one air escadrille de chasse became nine eme escadrille de chasse, and five eme escadrille de chasse became ten eme escadrille de chasse. The eleven eme escadrille de chasse was founded on 28 May to join them. By the start of the Allies' final offensive in September 1918, the AMB was incorporated in the Allied aviation effort, and could send 40-plus aircraft into the air at one time. In its short span of service, the group fought over 700 aerial combats and was credited with 71 confirmed and 50 probable victories. Topic. Aircraft procurement difficulties. In June 1916 the nascent Air Force had received newer aircraft from the French in both single and double seat versions of the Newport 10. The Belgians would continue to upgrade their aircraft throughout the war, though through their dependence on French manufacturers they became the stepchildren of the Allied effort from 1916 onwards. The introduction dates of various types, compared to the date of their acquisition by the Belgians, tells the tale. The Franco-American Lafayette Escadrille had Newport 16s as early as May 1916, the Belgians got them at the end of the year. The Newport 17 came into service with the French as early as June 1916, but the Belgians received so few that in June 1917 they were still operating all their earlier Newports. They then contracted for newer Newport 23s, which were basically up-engined Newport 17s. SPAD VIIs had entered French service on 2 September 1916, the Belgians first received them almost an entire year later, with the first one on board on the 22nd of August 1917. In September 1917, Belgium had the Henriette HD.1 supplied to it the year after it was introduced. SPAD XIIIs also came online that month, but would not show up in Belgian inventory until the next year. Sopwith Camels first went into service in May 1917 and the AMB received its first one on the 29th of November 1917. The AMB did make one attempt to design and build its own aircraft. 
However the Pontier M1 was not good enough for production, and the ten or so manufactured ended up with clipped wings as powered penguin rollers for training rookie pilots. Topic: Operational summary. One of its flying ace pilots, Willie Coppins, became the top-ranking balloon buster of World War I, as well as one of the war's top aces. Four other pilots from the Tiny Force also became aces with it, André de Mulemeester, Edmund Thiefry, Jan Oleislagers, and Fernand Jacquet. A sixth Belgian, Adolphe Dubois d'Aiche, became the war's oldest ace while in French service. The fledgling Air Force was entrusted with flying both King Albert and Queen Elizabeth over the battle front at times. Topic: <laughs> Between the World Wars. During the interwar period, the Belgian Air Force flew the Brigitte 19. Some efforts were made to acquire aircraft from local production, such as those by Stamp et Vertingen and Renard. They also evaluated native designs like the ACAZ C.2 and Le Cab GR.8, none of which entered mass production however. <laughs> <laughs> World War II At the start of World War II, the Army Air Force had three active Air Force regiments. Aircraft which were used by those regiments were the Renard R-31 and R-32, the Fiat CR.42, the Hawker Hurricane, the Gloucester Gladiator, the Ferry Fox, and the Ferry Battle. These were massacred by the much superior German Luftwaffe in the German invasion of May 1940. Before the outbreak of the war Belgium also sought to equip the aviation militaire with foreign designs, ordering production licenses in Poland and France and aircraft in the USA. However, the acquired licenses could not be used until May 1940 and the aircraft produced in the USA were eventually delivered to France and to the United Kingdom. After the surrender of Belgium on 28 May 1940, a very small Belgian air force in exile was created in Great Britain as the Belgian section of the Royal Air Force Volunteer Reserve. This small force was active within the British Royal Air Force, and its squadrons were equipped with the Supermarine Spitfire and Hawker Typhoon. The Cold War. On 15 October 1946, the Belgian military aviation was turned into an autonomous force, independent of the Belgian army. From September 1953 to 1960, the École de Pilotage Avancée Advanced Pilots School, operated Harvards from the Kamina military base in the Belgian Congo. Seemingly about 60 Harvards were at the base. Post-Cold War reforms, COMOPSAIR At the beginning of the 1990s, the end of the Cold War caused the Belgian government to restructure the Belgian armed forces in order to cope with the changed threats. The Belgian Air Force was hit hard and saw its strength more than halved with the disbanding of the 3rd Tactical Wing in Birset, 1994, the disbanding of the 1st Fighter Wing in Bovachain, the 9th Training Wing in St. Truiden Air Base, and the Elementary Flying School in Goschenhoven, 1996. In 2002, the Belgian government decided to emulate Canada and impose a single structure on its armed forces in which the independent Belgian Air Force ceased to exist. The Belgian Air Component being the HQ consists of the 2nd Tactical Wing in Florence Air Base and the 10th Tactical Wing in Kleine Brogel Air Base, both flying F-16s in four squadrons. Out of the 160 F-16s originally bought by Belgium, only 105 were upgraded, with further reductions to 72 aircraft in 2005, and planned to 60 by 2012. The first wing at Bovachain Air Base is assigned for the training of pilots, using the piston-powered Airmachi SF.260 for elementary training, and the Alpha Jet for advanced training. 
Advanced combat training is done on F 16s at Kleine Brogel. COMOPSAIR still operates the Lockheed C-130 Hercules in the 15th Air Transport Wing based at Melsbrook Air Base, planning to replace them by seven Airbus A400M transport aircraft. VIPs are transported with Embraer 135-145s jets, Dassault 2900s, and the Airbus A321. The Sea King SAR helicopters will be phased out in March 2019 and will be replaced by NH 90s 4 NFH plus 4 TTH. The Alouette 3 helicopters flown for the Belgian Navy in a utility role will remain active for some years. In 2004, as part of the unified structure, the Army Aviation units of the Wing Heli were transferred to the COMOPSAIR. These contain the Augusta A109 attack helicopter, and the Alouette 2 training and recce helicopter. In 2005, the Belgian Alpha jets moved to Cazo in France to continue the initial operational training, while the advanced jet training was done on French Alpha jets at Tours. As from 2013 both advanced jet training as well as initial operational training are completed in Cazo in France. Within the framework of its commitments within the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, NATO, Belgium has assigned its 72 F-16s to NATO purposes. Two squadrons with a total of 16 aircraft have been designated for use by the Rapid Reaction Forces. In February 2008, Defence Minister Peter de Creme announced that due to increasing problems and poor serviceability, the two A310s were to be replaced as soon as possible by two aircraft in the same class. An Airbus A330 was dry leased to take their place till March 2014 where it was replaced by an Airbus A321. On September 1, 2010, the Wing Heli in Beerset was disbanded and the Augusta A109 helicopters moved to Bovachain Air Base to become first wing. The SF-260 squadrons became part of the Basic Flying Training School. On May 24, 2011, it was reported that the two retired Airbus A310 aircraft have been sold to the Brussels-based company Mad Africa for the amount of €700,000. The company then sold them on to the Dutch Van Vliet Transport Company, who in their turn will transfer the aircraft to an as yet unspecified Abu Dhabi-based operator. Retired aircraft Topic: 1990s In January 1991, 18 Mirage 5 aircraft of the 3rd Tactical Wing were deployed to Turkey's Diyarbakir Air Base. During this operation, Belgian aircraft carried out several flights along the Iraqi border. After this operation the obsolete Mirage 5s were phased out. On 15 July 1996, a C-130 with serial CH-06 carrying 37 members of the Dutch Army Fanfare Band and four Belgian crew members crashed at Eindhoven after a bird strike while executing a go-around, resulting in the loss of power to two engines. 34 passengers were killed, and only seven survived. The accident is known in the Netherlands as the Hercules Ramp. From October 1996, the Belgian Air Force cooperated with the Dutch Royal Air Force in the Deployable Air Task Force in patrolling former Yugoslavian airspace. F-16s of the 2nd and 10th Tactical Wings, operating from the Italian bases of Villafranca and Amendola, were assigned to missions ensuring the control of a no-fly zone over Yugoslavia, and providing the air support necessary for UN and NATO troops. Between March 24 and June 10, 1999, 12 Belgian F-16s carried out 679 combat sorties, the first time since the Second World War that Belgian aircraft took part in active war operations in enemy territory, against Serbia during the Kosovo Crisis. The last Belgian F-16 detachment left Italy in August 2001. Topic 2000s. 
On 29 March 2004, four F-16s from Kleine Brogel were transferred under NATO's Baltic Air Policing Mission to the Sholay Air Base in Lithuania for three months, where they were employed in monitoring the Lithuanian, Latvian, and Estonian skies. In 2005, the helicopter wing Weli, Heliu, deployed four A109 including one medevac in Tuzla, Bosnia. In July, four F-16s deployed to Afghanistan to support the NATO International Security Assistance Force. From June to October 2005, the 80th UAV squadron deployed its B Hunter in Tuzla. In 2006, Belgian Hunter unmanned air vehicles deployed to the Democratic Republic of the Congo as part of the EU EUFOR peacekeeping mission. At the same time, the helicopter wing Weli, Heliu, deployed three A109 including one medevac in Mostar, Bosnia, in Operation Blue Bee. On 1 December 2006 the Belgian air component deployed again under Baltic Air Policing Mission 4 F-16 MLU aircraft to Shole Air Base in Lithuania, to defend the airspace of Estonia, Latvia, and Lithuania. From August 2008, four F-16s were deployed to Kandahar in Afghanistan in support of the Dutch land forces. In March 2011, Belgium deployed six F 16 fighters to Araxos in Greece, in support of Operation Odyssey Dawn, to support the NATO operations over Libya. The aircraft were already at the base as part of a joint exercise and were transferred to NATO command. Up to June 2011, the aircraft had flown over 1,000 hours over Libya and attacked various military installations and targets. Topic 2010s. On the 12th of September 2011, a WikiLeaks document showed a diplomatic cable from the American ambassador and the Minister of Defense Peter de Krem that Belgium is interested in buying off-the-shelf Lockheed F-35 Lightnings by 2020. In 2013, the Belgian Air Force supported French operations in Mali, providing medevac helicopter support with two A-109 helicopters and two C-130 Hercules in a tactical air transport role. On 2 September 2013, four F-16 Fighting Falcon fighter jets of the Royal Belgian Air Force landed at the Cholet Air Base to take charge of NATO's air policing mission over the Baltic states. Between October 2014 and July 2015, six Lockheed Martin F-16AM Fighting Falcons were deployed under Operation Desert Falcon to Mawafak Salti Air Base as part of military intervention against the Islamic State of Iraq and the Levant. On the 11 October 2018 a Belgian Air Force F-16 caught fire during maintenance works at Florens Air Base. The fire, reportedly caused by the accidental firing of a cannon, completely destroyed that aircraft. A second F-16 was also damaged. On 25 October 2018, Belgium officially selected the offer for 34 F-35As to replace the current fleet of around 54 F-16s. In the accompanying news conference, government officials stated that the decision to select the F-35 over the Eurofighter Typhoon came down to the price, and later stated that, "...the offer from the Americans was the best in all our seven valuation criteria." The total purchasing price for the aircraft and its support until 2030 totaled €4 billion, €600 million Euros cheaper than the initially budgeted €4.6 billion. Euros. First deliveries are scheduled to take place in 2023. <inaudible> <inaudible> Joint air policing On 4 March 2015, the Belgian and Dutch Ministers of Defence, along with the Ambassador of Luxembourg to the Netherlands, signed an agreement on joint air policing. Starting mid-2017, the Belgian Air Component and the Royal Netherlands Air Force will take turns keeping two F-16s on Quick Reaction Alert QRA, defending the airspace of all three Benelux countries. The agreement could allow the Belgian Minister of Defence to order a Dutch aircraft to use lethal force over Belgian airspace, and vice versa. Luxembourg, while currently covered by Belgian QRA, does not allow the use of lethal force over its territory. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Current structure. Air Component Headquarter, in every Air Traffic Control Center, in Semerzake Control and Reporting Center, at Bovachain Air Base, reports to NATO's Integrated Air Defense System CAOC UDEM in Germany First Wing, at Bovachain Air Base 15th Squadron Operational Conversion and Training Unit AW109BA Hirundo 17th Squadron AW109BA Hirundo 18th Squadron NH90 TTH Force Protection Squadron 2nd Tactical Wing at Florence Air Base 1st Squadron F16AM Falcon 350th Squadron F16AM Falcon Maintenance Group Defense and Support Group 10th Tactical Wing at Kleine Brogel Air Base 31st Squadron F16AM Falcon 349th Squadron F16AM Falcon Operational Conversion Unit F16BM Falcon Maintenance Group Defense and Support Group 15th Air Transport Wing at Melsbrook Air Base 20th Squadron C130H Hercules to be replaced with Airbus A400M by 2020. 21st Squadron Airbus A321 Falcon 900B Embraer ERJ135 Embraer ERJ145 Training and Conversion Unit Meteorological Wing at Bovachain Air Base Military Meteorological Forecasting Center Meteorological School Maintenance Workshop Meteorological Telecommunications Unit 11th Squadron, at Caso Air Base, in France Alpha Jet E Trainers 40th Squadron, at Coxeta Air Base NH-90 NFH Helicopters 80th UAV Squadron, at Florens Air Base B Hunter Drones Air Component Competence Center, at Bovachain Air Base Basic Flying Training School, at Bovachain Air Base 5th Squadron SF, 260D, M Plus Trainers 9th Squadron SF, 260D, M Plus Trainers Military Glider Center, previously, at Goshenhoven Airfield, currently, at Bovachain Air Base L21B Super Cub, and a variety of glider types K9 Unit, in Oud Heverly Aviation Safety Directorate, at Bovachain Air Base Aircraft <inaudible> 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 Topic. Current inventory Topic. Future In the Strategical Defence Vision Report of the Belgian Government it was stated that by 2030 the Belgian Air Component will invest in 34 new fighter aircraft and one aerial refuelling aircraft to be able to deploy the new fighter aircraft in a more independent fashion. The Belgian Government is also planning to purchase four large reconnaissance UAVs with the option to buy eight more which will be able to fly at great height. Their primary goal will be reconnaissance assignments but the option also exists to arm them. Regarding the replacement of the aging F-16s there was some controversy within the Belgian government. The Flemish Socialist Party claimed that the government has already chosen the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, ignoring the Eurofighter Typhoon and Dassault Rafale, which were both also part of the tender, because it intended to purchase fighters of a new generation. And the successor of the F 16s also needed the capability of carrying B 61 nuclear warheads, which are supposedly stored at Kleine Brogel. Minister of Defense Stephen Vandeput contradicted this and stated that no official choice would be made until 2018 and that all options were still on the table. The Sea King helicopters were retired on 19 December 2018 after 42 years of service. 
The Alpha Jet will also be retired by December 2019 and future pilot training is to be conducted in the USA at the Euro-NATO Joint Jet Pilot Training program based at Shepard Air Force Base in Texas. On the 25th of October 2018, Belgium officially selected the offer for 34 F-35As to replace the current fleet of around 53 F-16s. In the accompanied news conference, government officials stated that the decision to select the F-35 over the Eurofighter Typhoon came down to the price, and later stated that, "...the offer from the Americans was the best in all our seven valuation criteria." The total purchasing price for the aircraft and its support until 2030 totaled €4 billion, €600 million Euros cheaper than the initially budgeted €4.6 billion. Euros. First deliveries are scheduled to take place in 2023. In 2018, two Hercules aircraft have already been retired prior to the transition to the Airbus A400M starting in 2020. Topic: See also List of F-104 Starfighter operators.